Hello guys, welcome to JHook and in today's session we are going to see the Helm chart. This is going to be a very beginner session for the Helm chart. So we are going to create our first Helm chart application as well as I'm going to explain how the Helm chart work and how you can create your first Helm chart. Moving ahead, I have divided this session into the four part. First one is what is Helm chart. In the second part, we are going to see the installation of a Helm chart. In the third part, we are going to see the structure, how the chart.yml templates and values.yml looks like. And in the fourth one, which is my favorite one, is the demo where we are going to create a demo chart application and we are going to deploy that application inside Kubernetes cluster. Well, if you are already familiar with the Helm chart, then I would suggest you to skip this video and move along to the next where I have given the demo on how to deploy the demo chart application as well. Okay, moving to the part one, what is Helm chart? Everyone says it's a package manager for your Kubernetes cluster. So if you are familiar with the Linux operating system, then we have an apt package manager or yum package manager. So which is responsible for upgrading, installation and installation of software packages. So Helm chart is just like same the package manager for our Kubernetes cluster. So the next question comes in my mind, what we can do with the Helm chart? We can install our Helm chart. Second, we can upgrade our Helm chart if we are going to add any new feature to it. And third one, we can delete our Helm chart. For a beginner, it might sound a little confusing with these all commands, but uh, don't worry, we are going to cover this pretty soon. Let's jump to our next part. In the second part, we are going to see how we can install the Helm chart. And in the Helm chart, we have a lots of option or lots of uh, uh, installation packages which you can use. There is a homebrew, there is a chocolatey, there is a scoop. So these are like a one line command for installing the Helm. So if you are using any of these, then you can pretty much install Helm very easily. So there is a GoFish also and the Snap also. And if you don't want to use any of this package manager, then you can choose the option for a binary also, where you can download it from the GitHub, you can unzip it, and then you can move it to the user local bin slash Helm. So by that way, you can install uh, via binary option also. And if you don't like binary also, then is, there is a third option available. And that is via script. So you can just run this script and uh, you can get your Helm uh, installation done on your local machine or Kubernetes cluster. Okay, let's move to the third part. In the third part, we are going to see the Helm chart structure. And in the Helm chart structure, it's basically divided into the three part or the three component we can say. One is the chart.yml, second is the templates, and third is the values.yml. As you will start working with the Helm, the first command which you are going to run is the Helm create chart command. So here on the screen, you can see Helm create and it is followed by the chart name. So the chart name which I have kept over here is the demo chart. Once you run this command, then you are going to see the directory which has been created with the name demo chart and you will see something similar structure in your Kubernetes cluster. Don't worry, you don't need to create all these files or all this YML configuration by yourself. With this command, Helm create demo chart, you are going to get all this predefined or it has been created by Helm by default. So here, the main files which we are going to go through is the chart.yml, second is the template directory, and the third thing is the values.yml. Okay, let's see how does the chart.yml looks like. So once you run this Helm create demo chart command, so you're going to create, a, Helm is going to create a chart.yml for you. And it basically contains a very metadata for your Helm chart. As you can see, this contains a meta information about your demo chart. So here you will find API version, name, description, type, version, and app version. And the great thing about the Helm chart is you don't need to type in all this information manually. Once you run this Helm create command, it will create it for you. Now you can easily guess, like all the basic work is already done by the Helm. You don't have to do a lot of manual work in writing those configuration YMLs for Kubernetes and for deployment and service. But you will see more and more how the Helm will help you to get rid of this manual intervention and writing your uh, configuration manually. The next file which we are going to see is the values.yml. And values.yml is just like a normal properties file where you store the version number or the basic configuration so that you don't have to update uh, this configuration in each and individual file. So values.yml will be uh, one place where you 
go and update or modify the configuration so that uh, Helm can fetch those values and update it inside the deployment.yml and service account.yml or any other yml configuration yeah i can understand this might be sound a little confusing or it you might get confused why we need a values.yml but just bear with me uh, in the couple of slides you will know what does the values.yml stands for and how we can leverage this values.yml and we can just create a lot of configuration uh, dynamically using the values.yml before we move uh, i would like to compare the normal kubernetes deployment versus a helm chart kubernetes deployment because uh, then you will see how it can automate our work and it can ease our Kubernetes uh, maintenance. So on the left hand side, we are going to see the normal Kubernetes deployment.yml. And here you can see this is the normal Kubernetes deployment YML. And just remember, this is not a complete deployment YML. I have just taken the snippet. And on the right hand side, you can see the Helm deployment.yml. So here uh, on the left hand side, you can see we have hard coded the number of replicas to two. But on the right hand side, you can see we have a placeholder that is values dot replica count. So as I said before, we are going to leverage the values dot YML. So here you can see we have created this placeholder and we are going to fetch this values from values dot YML. So at the bottom, you can see this is our values dot YML where we have defined the values of replica count that is one. So this value is going to get replaced inside our deployment.yml. So this is a very basic uh, application of our values.yml or this is how the helm is going to use the values.yml and replace all this placeholder with the exact value. So you don't have to do or you have don't have to manually update the deployment.yml again and again. You have to go to values.yml which is a central place or the central file where you can just update all this configuration and it will just take into the effect. Well, the next question comes into my mind. If you do not have Helm chart, then how your day-to-day -day Kubernetes operation would look like? Okay, let's compare our day-to-day -day operation if you have a Helm or if you have a normal Kubernetes cluster. So on the left-hand side, this is our normal Kubernetes cluster where we, do, we are not using Helm. So here you need to set up your Kubernetes cluster first. Second, you need to create the deployment.yml or either you can write the uh, deployment command using kubectl also. Secondly, you need to create the service.yml or you can write the kubectl service command also for that. Third, you need to create a service account. And once you create all these YMLs, then, then you are going to run this all this configuration either on development, then it you might run on a stage environment and then finally you can go and run it on a production environment. And these are some basic command which uh, a, a Kubernetes uh, administrator always runs when he is handling his day-to-day -day business. So uh, as you can see, if you do not have a Helm, then your day-to-day -day operation would look like something similar. But on the right-hand side, uh, let's see the scenario where you have a Helm installation on your Kubernetes cluster. So yeah, you can you need to set up a Kubernetes cluster. That's the basic requirement for Helm. But once you set up the Kubernetes cluster, then straightforward, you are going to go and create a Helm chart. And once you create the Helm chart, then all this deployment.yml, service.yml will be taken care by Helm chart. You only need to fill the values.yml and you need to run the Helm installation command. Yeah, it sounds very short, but you might need to tweak a little bit of information. But you don't need to run this like a kubectl create deployment or kubectl expose deployments command manually. It will be all taken care by helm install command. So that, that's the only single command which you need. So that's the only command you need to run in the development, in the stage and in the production also. So you don't need to remember any more of your Kubernetes command. Yeah, that is required when you need to debug or troubleshoot the error. But for day-to-day -day operation, for normal release or production issues, you don't need to write the kubectl complex create deployment, create service or expose service command. You just need to rely on the helm install command. Now you can as imagine like how helm will ease your day-to-day uh, -day operation when you don't need to take care of all this uh, 
complex uh, kubectl command structure and everything well i think this is the basic information which you need before you start working with the helm chart and i think i'll stop this video over here and in the next video we are going to see the demo where we are going to create our very basic uh, demo chart uh, using helm and we are going to deploy a very simple Spring Boot application and this Spring Boot application will contain a small microservice and that we are going to access after we do a successful Helm chart creation and the Kubernetes deployment using the Helm chart. So stay tuned and just follow the next tutorial for the same.